Hey guys, in this video we are going to review the area of complex figures. This is something we've already covered, but I wanted to go back and kind of review some of this stuff with you guys. Um, so let's get into it. We have three problems here off of the note sheet for today. The first one, it says the figure is formed by trapezoid QRST and parallelogram PQTU. Find the area of the figure. So they even you don't even have to figure out what it's made up of they are telling you in the problem this is made of a parallelogram and a trapezoid. So first let's take apart the parallelogram since it's on top. So that's a parallelogram. Remember the area of a parallelogram formula is base times height. So the base uh, would be wherever that perpendicular line hits. I can see that it's hitting that bottom line there so that would be my base. That distance I can get from the top of the figure since the top and the bottom would be the same length. So the base would be 10 here, and then the height would be perpendicular to that, that ghost line, which would be 13. So the parallelogram is 10 times 13, which is 130 square inches. Easy peasy. The trapezoid is, remember the area formula for a trapezoid is one half height times base one plus base two. And you'll notice on here, by the way, that I'm using subscript for the area and the area because I'm kind of organizing my work in, in a neat way. So I like subscript to kind of differentiate which work goes with which problem. So I have my parallelogram as A subscript 1 and now my trapezoid is A subscript 2. That's just something I like to do. So we're going to start off with the area is 1 half. Now I need the height. Remember, I'm looking for that perpendicular mark. So the height is that gulf line right there. It tells me how far apart the bases are. So it's 12. And then the bases are the two parallel sides on a trapezoid. So I have my bottom is 18. Now the top is not listed there, but remember, it's the opposite side of the parallelogram. The very top of the parallelogram is 10, so that has to be 10 as well. So that two bases added would be 18 plus 10. Now when you add the two bases, you get 28, and then you can multiply 12 times 28 and do half of that, which is 168 square inches for the trapezoid. Now that's the not the final answer. Remember, we're looking for the final answer would be the area of the entire shape combined, so I will just add the two areas of the parallelogram and the trapezoid at the end and get a final answer of 298 square inches for the complete figure. So that's example number one. Let's take a look at example number two. This one's a little bit more tricky. I'm going to show you guys two ways to go about attacking this problem. First of all, it says find the area of the shaded region. Sometimes it'll say unshaded region. You have to read carefully. This is the shaded region. So I'm looking for that triangle in the middle. Now the first way I show you is a little bit more steps than the second way, but um, I'm going to show both ways anyway. So this one if you notice, there's a big rectangle in blue there, and then I have a triangle in yellow on the side and another triangle in green there. So I have a rectangle, and if I take away the two triangles from the rectangle, I will get the leftover in the middle. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do here. So first, and well, there it is, shaded triangle would be the whole rectangle minus the two white triangles. So first, what I'm going to do is find the area of the rectangle. So remember, rectangle formula is length times width. So that would be 80 by 40, that rectangle, which is 3,200, not 320. Some people make that mistake when they're multiplying two things that end in zero. It's 3,200. That's my area of my rectangle. That's easy. Now I will go after one of the triangles. I'll take this one over here, call this one triangle one. and Again, there's the area of a triangle formula. It's one half base times height. The base and the height have to be perpendicular to each other. They are in the corner. It's a right triangle. So it's just 40 and 48 for the base and the height. When I crunch those numbers, one half of 48 times 40, I will get 960. That's for that yellow triangle there. For the other triangle, which is the other corner, I highlighted that in green here, that also is a right triangle though it also involves the area of a triangle formula. Now, you can see that the one side is 80, but the other side is missing. 
But if you notice that the opposite side of the rectangle is 40, that means that that has to be 42. So, well, 40 also. So the, it would be 1 half 80 times 40, which would be 1,600 square meters for the triangle too. Now, I'm not done yet. Remember, I wanted to take the area of the full rectangle minus the area of those two triangles. So the non-shaded region would be the two triangle areas. I'm going to add those up here. Um, rather than subtract them individually, I'll just add them together. So the non-shaded region is 960 plus 1,600, which is 2,560, 2,560. And then I'm going to take that away from the rectangle area. Remember, the, the rectangle area was 3,200. And I'm going to take away both triangles at the same time since I added them together. And that gets me 640 square meters for the final answer. That would be the area of the shaded region. And that's a lot of steps. Sometimes that's the only way you can do it if you don't have any sides of that middle triangle. You'd have to subtract the outside parts. But in this one, we actually could have found the area of the triangle. Some of you may have done that if you did this already. So going after that triangle in the middle, the area of a triangle is base times height. Uh, so I, I can see that the parallel, the, the, I'm sorry, the corner is perpendicular. So I can use the bottom side of that triangle as the base. I just don't know what its, its length is yet because it's not labeled. And I can use the 40, which is the perpendicular height, as the height. So I know that that's 40. I just need to figure out what the base is. And the way I go about doing that is I look at the rectangle. Now, the opposite side of the rectangle is 80, which means the entire bottom of the rectangle should be 80 as well. Since part of it is already 48, then I can get the other part by subtracting 80 minus 48 which is 32. So there we go, I got it. I got the base is 32 and then I can use my triangle formula. I can do 1 half 32 times 40, which is 640 as well. So I'll get the same answer whether I did it option one or option two. The final problem is probably the easiest of the three. I also have to find the shaded area and it's actually just two right triangles. So I'm just gonna find the area of both of the triangles. So I have one triangle here in blue and then I have another triangle there in red. So I'm gonna do both areas and then I'm gonna just combine them at the end. So I'm actually gonna do triangle two first only because I think it's a little bit easier. Triangle two, area formula, same area formulas, all the triangles. Uh, so I'll start off with the one half, areas one half. Now the base, I can see one of the sides, since it's a right triangle, I can see one of the sides is 10. Now the other side, if you notice those little hash marks on the corners there, those mean that the sides are the same, that those length sides are the same, which means the top has to be 10 as well. So I know that the area of that triangle will be 1 half 10 times 10. I know 10 times 10 is 100, so half of that would be 50. So 50 square centimeters would be the area of just the red triangle. Now I'll go back and do the first triangle. You could have done it either way. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so that one, same formula, one half base times height. I'll start with the area is one half again. I can see that 22 is one of those sides. So I have to figure out, well, what is the other length that I'm going to use? And again, I'm going to rely on the fact that it's inside a big rectangle. So I'm going to look over at the other side of the rectangle, which is 10 centimeters, and say, okay, well, if that's 10 centimeters, then this side of the rectangle also has to be 10 centimeters. I also know that this length down here is four, so that means that the remaining length has to be six because it has to add to 10. So that means the base of that triangle or the height, however you wanna look at it, would be six. So I'm gonna, there it is. I just had to figure out that one distance and now I'm ready to go. One half of 22 times six. And I can always do half of one of those numbers. So like half of 22 is 11, 11 times six is 66. That's the area of the blue triangle. I am not done yet. I have to do the final stage of just adding those two things together. The total shaded area will be the two combined triangle areas. So if I just do 66 plus 50, just like that, it's 116. That is the answer, it's square centimeters. Make sure that you have that labeled. 
And that's it. That's kind of your quick crash course review on how to find area of complex figures. Good luck.